In Afghanistan, this is what passes for a ski lift. Up in the Hindu Kush, about 30 competitors have come to take part in the annual Afghan ski challenge. It's a rare chance to forget about the troubles blighting the country. I feel incredibly good because it's the first year I've participated and when I put on my skis for the competition, I feel so happy. All those moments of sadness and pain disappear when I'm here. When I ski, it's like a dream. Three, two, one. The Shaidan Valley in Bamiyan may be just 180 kilometers west of Kabul, but kidnappings and robberies mean the road to get here remains unsafe. At the race, security is tight. But for now, the competitors are more focused on the grueling climb to the top of the course, more than 3,200 meters up. The most sensational thing here is that it's totally unexplored. You can you can go on all these mountains and, and name them yourself, because many of them haven't been climbed before, and that's probably the the main attraction of this region. When the race was first put on in 2011, few locals had even heard of skiing. But it's the local guide who finishes first, racing home in 28 minutes. First of all, I'm just happy to have won among the 30 competitors. It's a big victory for me. And I won after only training and skiing here for two years. The last to cross the line takes more than three hours. At the top, all that's going through my mind is 40 more steps, then a 10 second break. 40 more steps, 10 second break. And occasionally talking into the camera and saying, I'm really tired. <laughs> Afghans here see skiing as a sign of peace and dream that one day the country can open up to tourism. But with NATO combat troops due to pull out by the end of the year, the slope ahead will be far from smooth.